Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and we are going to be talking about naming acids. So, the common acids that we're going to be talking about are all molecular substances that happen to release hydrogen ions when they are put into water. So they're composed of a hydrogen ion combined with some anion. And remember, anions are negatively charged ions. And they're named by modifying the name of the anion. So this is where it's important to be able to figure out what the name of the anion is, because if you don't know what the name of the anion is, you can't name the acid. So in naming these common acids, we have to remember that they're neutral. If it's a compound, it's neutral. So that means if the cation is hydrogen, there's going to be as many hydrogens as needed to make a neutral compound. So if the anion has a charge of minus one, you'd only need one hydrogen. If the anion has a charge of negative two, you'd need two hydrogens. If the anion has a charge of negative three, you'd need three hydrogens. So acids are named, as I said before, by modifying the name of the anion. So the first thing you want to do is determine the name of the anion. Then you'll modify the anion name accordingly. And so this chart is a helpful way to think about it. If the anion ends in eight, we change the ending to the ic acid. If the anion ends in eight, we change it to the us acid. And if the anion ends in Ide, then we change it to the hydroblank ic acid, where the blank would be whatever that particular anion root word would be. So in the case of, for instance, sulfate anion, it would become sulfuric or sulfuric acid. Sulfite anion would be sulfurous acid. And if it was the sulfide anion, it would be hydrosulfuric acid. So how do we keep this straight? Well, there's this little handy saying that somebody came up with a few years ago in one of my classes. I ate something icky in the cafeteria, reminding yourself that eight anions form ick acids. And I bite a delicious as apple, so ite anion us acid. I ate something icky, ate anions form ick acids. I bite something delish us, ite anions form us acids, us being O U S. So how do we write formulas for these acids? We write formulas using this same basic procedure as we've used in the past for ionic compounds. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to look, if you're given um, chloric acid, you'd know it comes from the chlorate anion, and so that has a charge of minus one. So the correct formula would be HClO3. If it was chlorous acid, then we know it comes from the chlorite anion. So the formula would be HClO2. And if it was hydrochloric, so remember hydroblanchic, so hydrochloric means it comes from the chloride anion. So the formula would be HCl. So since it is an acid, the cation is always going to be H plus 1. So you're going to crisscross those charges to write a neutral formula. And again, neutral because if it's a compound, it's neutral. So there are six common acids that we ask you to memorize or recognize when you see them. They are hydrochloric acid coming from the chloride anion, nitric acid coming from the nitrate anion, acetic, acetic acid coming from the acetate anion, acetic, Carbonic acid coming from the carbon 8 anion, 8 goes to ic. Sulfuric acid coming from the sulfate anion, 8 ic. And phosphoric acid coming from the phosphate anion, again, 8 goes to ic. So I'm going to just put it one more time. Memorize these. These are the acids we will encounter frequently throughout the year. 
particularly in the next chapter, which is about reactions. So you want to make sure that if I say hydrochloric acid, you can come up with the formula. If I say phosphoric acid, you can come up with the formula. So that is all for now. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.